When you're ready to start polling, have your presentation open. An important thing to do before actually starting is to reset your slides. Resetting your slides resets the values to these graphs. So what you're going to do is go to the Turning Point 2008 toolbar, go to Reset, and just click on All Slides. And it sets the, all the values to zero. Once you did that, you're going to go to slideshow mode. So go up to here and click on slideshow and click on from the beginning. Okay. You're going to hand out your clickers to your students and make sure that you put the receiver, it's the gray USB receiver, into the USB slot of your computer. Once you're ready, you can click on this with the left mouse button to start mm -hmm. this presentation. If you look up here, this is called the show bar. It gives you some options in controlling the actual polling session. This is green here. It shows that the polling is open. I'm going to go ahead and input my responses on my clickers. I'm going to pick one on one clicker. Here it shows the number of responses. I only have two clickers with me now, so you'll only see two responses. I'm going to pick four for the other clicker. So it shows that two people have responded. When I'm done, I'm going to click on the mouse. And here this brings up the graph that shows that one person shows answer number one and one person shows answer number four. When I click again, the check mark appears and it displays the correct answer. To move on to the next question, just click the mouse again. I'm going to enter my answer. Once everyone has responded, you can click the mouse again to stop. Now this graph appears. It shows that everyone picked number one, nobody picked number two. I'm going to click again and the correct answer indicator comes up next to the correct answer. Now up here, I just want to show you some buttons that are up here on the show bar. This first button, basically what this does is it minimizes this bar. If you click it again, it brings it up again. This button here enables you to repoll the current question. So if you just want to ask the same question again, in order to do that, you don't have to start from the beginning. Just click on this button, and the answers for this question and the record for the responses will disappear, and you can start again. Just like that. And that's about it. There are more options and there's more ways you can customize your, your quizzes and your sessions. Um, that can be found up here in the show bar. Um, there's something called data slicing that you might want to look into. I'm going to close this by hitting escape. Also within the turning point button up here. If you go to tools, you'll find all different kinds of settings for you to customize your show. So I would encourage experimenting with it a little more, but make sure that before you are ready to use the clickers in your class that you go over it a few times beforehand just to make sure that you understand how everything works. But turning point clickers are actually very easy to use. Um, the software is pretty easy to use and I hope you enjoy using clickers in the classroom.